Today, I'm going to show you five secret features you didn't know about your AirPods. Now, who here hasn't shared a song with a close friend or a potted plant by splitting a pair of earbuds? Well, if you each have your own pair of AirPods or any of these Beats headphones, you can actually output from one iPhone to both simultaneously. So you don't have to split a single pair, you can each have the full stereo set. Whether you're listening to music or watching a video, you wanna tap this AirPlay button right here. Then you'll tap Share Audio, and you wanna make sure the other pair of headphones are nearby, and then tap Share Audio again. Your friend might have to tap Join on their iPhone. Then you just check the other box, and it'll start playing to both simultaneously. You can set different volume levels too. Just open Control Center and tap and hold on this slider here, and you'll see two different volume sliders, one for each pair. This is really handy if you ever wanna deafen your friends. Number two, you can use your AirPods to spy on people. So there's a feature for accessibility called Live Listen. It takes the microphone from the AirPods and boosts it through the speakers to help people who are hard of hearing, kind of like a hearing aid. But AirPods have a really long range. So say people are having a conversation in a room and you leave your AirPods just inconspicuously on a bookshelf somewhere. Well, you can be in the next room over, and you might just happen to hear what they're talking about. So you want to go to Settings, Control Center, and add the Hearing button. Then when you go to Control Center again, tap on that button, and turn on Live Listen. Just turn it off when you're done. Number three. So your AirPods have all these controls for activating Siri, pausing, going to the next track, going backwards. On newer AirPods, you do this by clicking on the stem, and on older AirPods, you do this by slapping your ear. Well, you can actually customize what they do, and you can have different controls for your left and your right. With your AirPods connected, go to Settings, AirPods, and then under Left or Right, you can pick from a few different actions. Siri, Play, Pause, Next Track, Previous Track, or you can just turn it off. Number four. So if you have AirPods Pro, you already know that you can switch between noise cancellation and transparency mode by clicking and holding on the stem. But did you know you can also do it from the Apple Watch. From the now playing screen, you tap the AirPlay icon in the bottom corner, and you can just easily pick from the menu. This is really convenient if you're one of those people with a cellular Apple Watch, then you go for a run, leaving your phone at home, and there's no guesswork. You can just pick from a menu and know that you're in transparency mode when you're trying to cross the street, and know that you're in isolation mode when you're on the trail. Number five, in the same vein, if you're exercising and you don't want to be distracted every time a text comes in, you can have Siri announce all of your incoming phone calls and read you all your notifications. Just go to settings, phone, announce phone calls, and set it to headphones only. Next, you want to go back and scroll up to notifications, tap announce notifications, and turn it on. That way you won't miss an important notification while you're working out. Before you go, there's one more thing. The Cult of Mac store has a bunch of AirPod accessories you can check out. Cases, ear hooks, headphone jack adapters, a special watch band that keeps them in place, all the stuff you can check out in the link in the video description, along with an article version of this if you want. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.